In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Crello. Crello helps streamline the design process of almost any sort of project by offering an all-in-one tool. Now, if you have any questions about Crello, go ahead and drop them below. I tend to reply within a couple of minutes to a few hours, and I'll also leave a special link below, which will take you to the best place to purchase Crello. I'll make sure I keep that link updated for you so you always get your money's worth for Crello. Let's head over to my screen so I can show you about. Here we are in the dashboard of Crello, and it's got pre-made templates for you in basically any you can imagine, whether that's Facebook posts, podcast covers, square video posts, Instagram video stories, just Instagram stories, and even if you want to create videos, you can do that. If you're looking to create events and posters, you can do that, and YouTube thumbnails as well. In fact, there's so much to this platform that I'm only going to show you the USPs because we'll be here all day if I try to show you everything. Let's go ahead and choose a YouTube a thumbnail i'm gonna go ahead and do this one this is where you'll do all of your main editing and it's a simple drag and drop editor you just click on the elements and drag it around by clicking on it will also open up the individual editing so you can change the text size for example you can make it bold or not you can animate it and add special effect to the right you can do masking as well as adding more layers you can align it left right or center or justify it and you can lock elements so when you're moving stuff around that element will stay in place on the left this is where all the other templates are so you can quickly select one of them and it will change so for example just like that and then inside the photos it's got a built-in library of images that you can use so for example if we want to use this image we just click it and it's got some other nifty tools so for example we can actually remove the background so click the remove background tool and then the background has been removed. And of course, it wouldn't be much of a design software if it didn't have its own rain filters on the left. You can also crop it, change the transparency, flip it horizontally or vertically, and you can even animate it. So for example, if you wanted it to move in, press preview animation, and there you go. It also acts as a as a placeholder as well. So you just drag it in like that. If you double click it and reposition it, and then it will add into the frame. Deleting elements, you can just click on it, press the delete button, or the top right has the bin tool. You can add videos, add your own music, add little gifs or animations, add shapes and objects, different backgrounds, add customized text and all fancy designs, even add style guides and image and coloring. If you have your own branding kit, you can create customized branding kit. And if you've got a list of favorites, you can heart photos or designs or anything in these templates and add them to your favorites. If you upload files, you can do that in this area as well. When you're ready, you have a choice of doing a few things. You can either present it, share it on social media platforms, or even embed it into your own website. And you can resize it in all different ways. Finally, if you want to download, click the download button and then you choose your format. Now, ultimately, every single thing you can do on Crello is a complete repeat of that exact process. From animations to graphic design to to royalty free images, Crello has it all for you and they do a really nice job of simplifying the entire process. I think Crello actually do a really good job of just streamlining everything and I can definitely see how this can help you with your graphic design project. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.